Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of me playing your games. So again, I'm going to be going through as many as I can in this episode without it going on for too long, and I'm playing the games which have already been submitted to me. But without further ado, let's get right into it, starting with Anaphora. Now Anaphora is a psychological horror game where you play as a detective who goes to investigate the murder of a person and experiences supernatural occurrences. So let's get right into it, this one looks great from the screenshots that we can see here. So here we are, let's check the options. Some nice camera movement here from Mandy, that's quite cool. Uh, spacing more options there, I think that's good. Uh, so let's play the game. Here we are, got a number in the top right, I don't know what that is. Uh, we're in an elevator, okay. Yeah, I don't know what, oh that might be frame rate actually maybe. I don't know. Here we are, negative two, okay. Nice camera Bob. There's a fire exit there, it's always good to know where the exits are. Uh, right, which house do we need to go into? There's two fire exits. Which apartment? Let's check this one. It's not that one. This one. Oh, wow, okay. Oh, that's um, a lovely painting. A very uh, strange choice of art. Can't seem to open any of these doors. Might be good. A fire. Oh no, it's static. Alright. Okay, dripping. Oh no, it's a clock. Might <laughs> a flashlight. Maybe I haven't picked it up yet. What books have we got? Psychology. Got some interesting books. Oh, is it going to be like a PT style? Yep. <laughs> Great. So it's going to... something's going to change. Oh no. It's never a good sign. I'm just going to... just going to ignore that. Pretend that's not happening. That's worse. That's just creepy. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> Let's go back through again. Oh, the lights are off. Oh, and there's blood on the floor. And that's changed. That's worse than it was before, somehow. Okay. <laughs> I feel like gonna be a jump scare any second. Oh, there's blood there as well. I'm gonna try to this now. I always interact with that. I don't know, is that a code hidden somewhere maybe? Not that I can see. Okay. I don't really want to try and interact with that door, but we're gonna have to. I can't open it anyway, okay. What about here? Nope. Still can't open any of these doors. play this time. Nothing, all the discs gone. Oh, well, that's ominous. Yeah, it's fine. I don't really want to go and look at that. Oh, no. probably have to interact with it, but I'd, I'd rather not, I'll be honest. Oh! Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's normal, yeah. Okay, right. Well, I guess that's what that was from then. Um. <laughs> right. Let's just, yeah, I guess we'll just continue on as if nothing happened. Go through now? We can. 
Oh, the blood's gone, so that's something. Oh, my motivation is now bad. Oh, I probably could always pick this up. Oh, something's probably going to change on this, isn't it? On one of these turns. Still can't open these doors. Smashing. Oh, this is completely different now. Okay. Oh, is this back to the entrance? Oh, it is. Oh, that's confusing. Okay. I want to try all the doors anyway, just on the off chance one of them opens. I don't want to miss it. Oh, now it's just looping like this. Okay. But most of you know that cannot be true. For every Christmas you see what I do. And now you not only know just what I do, but you hear my old voice as I'm speaking to you. Who is it? Actually getting shapes appear. I don't know if I need to remember those. Oh, I feel this is probably going to be a code that I need to remember, isn't it? Yeah. Oh no, it's a number. Oh, okay. Um, 1962. It's wrong. Okay, so I need to find a code then. How? Where am I? Okay. So I can't go back that way, so it's in here somewhere, I guess. Um, I just need to find it. I feel like these things on my screen probably have something to do with it. I just don't know what. There's nothing on the bear. No. Okay, so... A code. There's a triangle, so maybe three. Oh no, it's a red triangle. Oh, okay. Uh, three, eight, four, three, eight, four. But there's four numbers. Three, three, eight, four. Three, three, eight, four. No. Um. Okay. Unless it's just 384, and so 3384. 384. No. Or 0384. I got that from counting the uh, shapes. Let's do that again. Or well, the size of the shapes, whatever. So, if we go back to the beginning. Count it again. So we've got a triangle, which will be three sides. We've got this thing here, which there's eight of them. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. And then this thing, which is four. So three, eight, four. I can't see anything else. So three, eight, four. It also looks like there should be uh, four numbers, right? So I don't know. I also don't know how to enter this. Yeah, I don't know. I'll just try it again. I've also checked on the itch it page, and it looks like 384 is the code. Just for some reason isn't working. I'm not sure why. Strange. So I might have to leave this one there then. But I mean, so far this is actually pretty good though. I do really enjoy this, it's quite good. The whole concept of it is good. The, uh, this puzzle thing here, trying to solve the code. It's very good, it's very nice. Uh, for some reason, yeah, it just doesn't seem to register the code. I'm not too sure why. I'll try it one more time. So you've got three. There's another red one there, so maybe three again. 
eight four. So I'll do three three eight four as well, but I think I've tried that already. But again, three eight four works for someone else on the page. Three three eight four. Yeah, doesn't seem to work. Oh well. But yeah, I did really enjoy this game, it's very good. Uh, so yeah, I'll have to leave that one there. But it's great so far, maybe uh, again I'm not sure why that doesn't work. That's I'm doing something wrong, it's changed, I don't know. But other than that, really good game. So let's go on to the next one. And next up we have No Escape. Now this is a third person shooter where you're sent in a facility as a SWAT force to eliminate a group of soldiers that's been transformed into zombies after something went wrong with an experiment. You can't exit the facility before you've eliminated all the zombies. Good luck. Okay, this one sounds quite cool. And this one's by Asmund. So let's open this one up and check it out. That's a low system, okay. Let's, let's go right into play. Okay, so here we are. Oh, the zombies already. Okay, so they don't seem to die, but I, I think it's quite cool though. So I think you just have to kill all the zombies and then you can escape. So kind of like a wave survival type game. Well, I suppose it's probably not really a wave. It's a survival game. It's quite cool. I've got health and stamina as well. I don't know about it. I've got time as well, I've got 10 minutes. Kills 6, okay. I seem to have a lot of health. So I just picked up some more health for me as well there. That's cool. Okay, they have a lot of health. Crouch as well, that's cool. I don't know what this is I'm picking up. Is it a grenade? I don't know. Maybe it's ammo. I don't know if they're supposed to be shooting me as well. Or maybe they are. I just haven't noticed. So I think my health has. Yeah, my health is going down. They're attacking me. I actually don't know how many there is in total, like how many kills I need to get. Although I think this is quite a lot by the looks of it. I think I'm still reloading. I'm stuck. Can hang of it. They just have a lot of health. I need to pick up some more health. There we go. Okay. I think, as we said, this one was made um, in a week. So it's very good. I really like this one. I think my ammo, um, I don't think it's fully working because I get to zero, but I can still shoot. But again, it's made in a week, so it's still very good for what it is. 19 kills. I think I'm getting close to it. I've got seven minutes left. Another one. Mission complete. Oh, nice one. Hold on. You can now exit the facility. Where is the exit? Uh, try find the door. I've got no stamina. Here? Yeah. This is the door. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Maybe not. I've got a flashlight. Yeah, that was just a shadow. I can't find the uh, the door to get out. Oh, here it is. Just ran past it. 
All right. That was great. I really enjoyed that. It's a nice, quick, and simple one. But that was very fun. Yeah, so basically just kill all the enemies and you can escape. That was very good. I did enjoy that one. Yeah, and so yeah, this was a submission made in one week. So that was very good. And now we've got Modern Rush. Agent Zeon, we have gathered info that Salty Retreat Resorts, which have one of our top priority labs under it, have been destroyed by Desperado, known as the Jackal of the Devil. Intel has provided that the Jackal's final goal is to acquire the line of guns we've been developing called Devil's Executor. We've been developing these guns for the past five years, and this Jackal is very interested. Let's send the guns. He has already destroyed the cover for these labs, and it is now up to you to defeat the Jackal of the Devil. Intel has also provided that he is a very scrafty and nefarious person, so take heed. Signing out, soldier. Okay, that sounds quite good. So let's open this one up and try it out. Okay, agent, you're here. We have gathered more info that the Jackal of the Devil has his own armada of weapons, such as turrets and also drones, but this is the only info we have. We have many people on standby, so if God forbid you go down, you'll be saved from further danger. There are also health crates dropped around the resorts in case you need them. There were 10 resorts and all of them have gone down, so you'll be starting from the south block and have to make your way to the north block. The drones and turrets are a very advanced technology, Agent, you are one of our most experienced and valued agents, so please don't die. Signing out, Zedi. Okay, so that's quite cool. Uh, let's go on how to play. So, was to move, left mouse button to shoot, Q on mouse side button 1 to use your ability. Okay, spacebar to jump, our oh, ability after you pick it up, makes sense. Uh, left shift to sprint, R to reload. In every level, there are a fixed number of enemies you have to defeat. After you've done so, you can proceed to the next level by taking the doors that look like this. Okay, that's very useful. Let's start. You do have the guts to enter my arena, Agent. But let's see if you can actually force your way through my inventions. Alright, okay. Oh, so I think it's one over there. Yeah, there'll be a turret, there we go. Kills one. Okay, so this is very similar to um, No Escape. Just on a... With more levels, I guess. And with different enemies, obviously. I get it? Yeah, there we go. Is that all of them? I think so. Just gotta try and find a door then. Oh, I have to walk up to the door. Okay. So yeah, that was the door. I had to walk up to it to open it. Oh, there we go. It's got a teleporter. Alright. So it's... Oh. Where is that? There it is. Oh, I can't shoot. Can reload. There we go. That's better. Nice oh, the rest of them. I like the uh, laser pointer that I've got on here. That's one over there. Find one right there. I didn't even see that one. I got distracted by the other. Okay. I heal up a side again to break back to HQ. Let's start again. You do have the guts to enter my arena, Agent. But let's see if you can actually force your way through my inventions. That one. I think there was three in this level, wasn't there? There's one, two... Where was the third? I can't remember. Oh, there it is. I need to reload. There we go. Let's move on to the next level. Yeah, there we go. Alright, this is a good concept, I like this. That one. There's one there, and there's one over there. I believe that's all of them in this level as well. There we go. So the door will be over there. Oh no, there's more. Unless that's not the door, <laughs> but I think it is. Oh, there we go. There's one right there, I just ran right onto it. Okay. Now can we open the door? Yes, we can. Cool. Got that one. Oh, there's a health pack. Useful. Oh, there's the drones. Oh, okay. I'll have one more go. 
That's quite cool. I like this. Like I said, it's just more of a built-on version. It's kind of a kind of a wave survival game, but not really because we're going through different levels. But I like it though. It's very fun. There we go. <laughs> yeah. So now I've done these ones. I know where they all are, so I can do them quite quickly. So go in here again. Get that one. Get that one. Reload. Get this one. And then the final one is hiding behind here. There it is. There we go. I think I got the drone. Oh. Yeah, I think I did get it. Okay. I've still got the health pack over there, I think. Yeah, I didn't pick it up. Good. There was one more, wasn't there? Yeah. There we go. Oh, I got it. Cool. Okay. Get this health pack. Go to the next level, which should be over here. If I've got them all, which I have. Cool, okay. Those drones do a lot of damage. Need to reload. Oh no. Got it. Yeah, there we go. Don't think I got that one. Nope. There we go. There. Got it. Is that all of them? Yes, it is. Nice one. 16 kills at the moment, a score of 4. 140 seconds in. Oh, straight into the middle of all the drones. Got them. Oh, I need to reload. Oh no. So I think I remember them saying there was 10 levels. Oh no. Okay, I'm probably going to leave that one there. But I did really enjoy that one, that was again. That was great. So 20 kills, score of 4, 153 seconds. I really enjoyed that, it was great, thank you. So back to HQ. Cool, okay, so let's quit that. So I think that'll probably be it for this episode of me playing your games once again. I managed to get through three again this time around and I absolutely loved all of them. Thank you so much for submitting them, really did enjoy playing them and if they are still a work in progress, best of luck continuing to improve upon these games. They're absolutely amazing and you really can do a great job with them. So thank you again for submitting them and thank you for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy it and I hope you had fun watching me play these games. And as always, the links to these games will be in the description down below. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. It really helps me out a lot. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.